All right, hi Virgo. This is gonna be your reading. This is for Virgo placements. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip and switch the roles and pick what side of the story you're on, okay, Virgo? Let me get y'all sage going. I like to do this in between the signs, you know, to clear the energy. Let's see. Happy Sunday. Well, I'm going to post this on Monday, but happy Sunday, Virgos. I'm recording this on Sunday. Damn, you say, is this fake sage? You don't need to be burning. Okay, well, I, you know, I did my best. You know, I got I got things to do. I can't be wasting hours trying to light some sage. Okay, all right, Virgo. So let's see what y'all got going on. <laughs> Virgo placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do they need to know right now? Oh, I'm using a new deck. It's the Future Higher Self deck. It's so cute. The artwork is really cute. It's really, it's cool. Um, Let's see. So we have denial, okay? Failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles or addictions. Okay, so Virgo, this could either be you or someone in your energy that's in denial about something or someone or a situation. What else? Uh, spread your wings. Confidence that leads to freedom and growth. I didn't like how that fell out. Okay, what else? Yes, I like that. We got wisdom. Knowledge gained through experiences or from a wise counselor. So you guys could be, you could be this wise counsel, giving someone some type of um, knowledge, or you could be receiving knowledge from a wise counsel. Okay, what else? I wish you guys can see how the sage is burning. You can't really see it in the, in the video, but it looks so beautiful. Oof, child, what else? release release grudges wounds and pent up feelings through healthy activities okay so some of you guys could be into music somebody here could like tacos y'all could be into like taco tuesday and stuff okay a little taco hat somebody here could do music you could be like i said you can have a real strong connection to music you see the little musical notes okay you guys could like to dance right work out anything physical like healthy activities like running journaling uh listening to music good music that lifts your vibrations music that helps you heal not put you in a space where you're trying to get out of right or some people need to some people some people uh like or they, they um purposely listen to sad music to invoke feelings of sadness so they can cry and purge i do that sometimes i ain't gonna lie sometimes you need things to kind of like uh you know help you like release but and we have retreat taurus had this no aquarius sorry so you can have aquarius in your chart you could be dealing with somebody that does okay or you could be an aquarius with virgo placements but retreat time spent alone reflection on past and current situations okay so let's see What's denial? So six of wands. I feel like somebody's ego is not allowing them to see something for what it is. What's denial? Yeah, okay, ace of pentacles, interesting. Okay. What's denial for Virgo placements? We got 10 of wands in reverse. So Virgo, I feel like there's something new that's trying to come in for you guys. But you may have to put, you may have to lay something else to rest. Okay? It could be an addiction, a cycle, a, a lifestyle, a way of doing things, a way of thinking, a person, whatever it is, you'll know. Saturn and Sagittarius, something needs to be laid to rest. It could be an accumulation of things with all these wands. Okay, what's Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, the High Priestess in reverse. Cancer, Pisces energy. There's something that someone is not seeing. I feel like somebody's not seeing something as an opportunity for growth, but more like I have to win. I must win. I must win. You know, the high priestess, somebody's intuition is blocked. 
somebody I think somebody's too obsessed with potential to the point where somebody could be ignoring other offers rejecting you or you could be rejecting certain things people places where you need to really be exploring your options seeing what else is out there moving forward leveling up traveling getting out of your comfort zone three of swords is here yeah some y'all somebody here is afraid of change and this could be something from the past some type of past hurt past pain something that you've experienced something that's still in your in your part of your thought processes that's weighing on your heart here what's this high priestess in reverse Yeah, somebody's stuck on something or some yeah, the magician in reverse. Oh child. <sighs> magician in reverse. Virgo, Gemini energy. So there's a lack of clarity. Somebody's intuition is blocked, their crown is blocked. This could be manipulation. Somebody could be trying to manip use the elements to manipulate a situation because they're in denial about it. It's like somebody really has their eyes on a prize, which could be this Ace of Pentacles, but I feel like somebody's doing things behind the scenes for it. Or I don't, a lot of evil eye, a lot of like spying. Somebody's not learning from their past mistakes. Somebody is failing to learn something the magician is a very i also feel like somebody's wasting talent somebody's wasting some type of maybe intuitive gifts spiritual gifts on something that is that they may need to just let go of somebody has potential to do other things bigger things but they're wasting it on something or someone else there's like a waste of talent here magician in reverse yeah six of because of some past shit that wasn't even meant to be long term anyway <laughs> Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Mercury in Virgo, Six of Swords is here, Mercury in Aquarius. Somebody is stuck on something from their past, or somebody's trying to veil somebody back in or keep somebody stuck, whether mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. Something's weighing somebody down. This is baggage. This is something is not, something could be progressing really slowly. There could be an offer that's coming in really slow or stuck because of some type of spell work or manipulation or because somebody is not seeing something, refusing to release something or move on or detach from how something is going to happen or just detach, period. The Six of Swords in reverse is somebody's stuck. There could be even trouble heading somebody's way. What's the Six of Swords in reverse? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Mercury in Taurus. Yeah, somebody is trying to control something. You know what it is? I feel like somebody somebody doesn't want to go through a mourning period, a mourning phase. So somebody is hell-bent on either keeping someone stuck or bringing them back or doing something. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This could be a meant this could be like a, a meant uh a mentality like a scarcity mindset that somebody needs to get out of you or your person there's something that the universe is trying to like shove in somebody's face but it's like somebody can't see it there's a lack of clarity because of somebody is stuck on some type of unhealthy cycle addictions or a person or a situation somebody needs to come out of something mentally and emotionally and spiritually uh, five of pentacles in reverse nine of pentacles in reverse venus in virgo this could be codependency nine minus five is four right that would be the four of pentacles four of pentacles capricorn energy is about um holding on to something or someone too tight trying to control something being possessive somebody is stuck somebody is keeping themselves stuck it could be out of codependency. It could be because of finances. Somebody may feel like they can't. Somebody may feel like they don't have everything they need to succeed in something. You guys could have a creative project or a business idea that you have, but you may not feel like you have enough resources. So you may feel stuck. Nine of pentacles. You may, uh, nine minus five again, four of pentacles. You could be penny pinching or needing to save your money. Nine of pentacles in reverse could be somebody that spends beyond their means, trying to keep up with the Joneses. 
codependency, a lack of abundance. This could be a, a, a poverty stricken mindset that's keeping somebody stuck somewhere. What's the Ten of Wands in reverse? Or stuck on something. Yeah, Ace of Wands. So, and again, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. You guys have new beginnings in money and just your energy, enthusiasm, and creativity. But you're going to have to release. Something needs to be released. The potential is there for something. But y'all going to have to. And I, and I keep saying this. I said this for Gemini. And I said it for, was it Aquarius and Taurus? I believe it was. A, but in order to receive something, you're going to have to give up something else or someone else. If you say, I want a partner that's like this, but you're still holding on to somebody that you know doesn't match what you want, you're not going to get what you want. If you say you want to, if you say you want to have this type of lifestyle, but you refuse to give up X, Y, and Z, you're not going to have that. If you're saying, I want to do this for work, but you're still clenching to that poverty stricken mindset, it, again, you're going to have to give up something to receive something else. You're going to have to put, you're going to have to have trust. Something you, you you have to give up something and, and to receive something else. That's that's part of life. Sacrifices are needed. Exchanges. You have to we have to make even exchanges with the universe. But eight, anyways, ace of wands. That could be a mess, um, something growing, brewing. Okay, what's this ace of wands about? You can have a decision to make. Ace of wands. Yeah, the hero font. Taurus energy. So this could there's it's moon in reverse, the, the hangman in reverse, a lack of no somebody doesn't want to make a sacrifice. Somebody's unwilling to shift their perspective, surrender, and let go of something or someone. Somebody's causing themselves self deception. Somebody's causing themselves. Somebody's deceiving themselves because of this denial. Somebody is stubborn. They're hard headed. Anyways, the hero font. Some of y'all could be teachers. Okay. You could be wanting to go back to school. Somebody here could be needing, somebody here can have addictions that they may need to, somebody here may need to do like AAA or some type of program. Okay. What's this hero font? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, the Empress is here. Taurus, Libra energy. You can have Taurus or Libra in your chart. Or you could be a Taurus or Libra with Virgo placements. But Nine of Pentacles. August Virgo, August Leo energy. There's some type of commitment. Find... Find, somebody may have to redirect their commit their commitment. Somebody here is very steadfast, very committal, okay, very hardworking, very dedicated. So somebody here may be dedicated to the wrong thing, wrong person. There may need to be a shift or change in direction to what and who somebody is deciding to commit to and be patient for or with. Maybe try to do something else because one thing may not be working or, or something like that. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, the Five of Wands in reverse. Saturn and uh, Leo. I want to say, Virgo, whatever's for you, you're not going to have to fight or commit to have. Whether it's a person, place, or thing. You're not going to have to fight your way through it or, or jump through hoops and obstacles. It's not going to be an obstacle course to have it. The more challenging something is, the more you should resist it. You shouldn't want to, and you know, I, I know Virgo, you know, Virgo, you guys like to fix people in situations. I get that. You guys, you guys see, you, sometimes you guys have a habit of seeing partners as fixer uppers and people to fix. But when you have to fight through or a whole bunch of jump through hoops and do all these things just to have something or someone, it's not for you. And this is when you experience this Ten of Swords energy over and over again. Nothing should be too hard. Yeah, nothing should be too hard. The right things and people and spaces for you won't be won't feel competitive. They won't feel it, it, this could be some type of inner conflict that you could be trying to work through. There could be an offer coming from an institution. Okay, there could be a new contract that you're signing somewhere or something new that you're doing. Knight of Pentacles is slow. It's slow moving energy. It's a slow and steady win the race. There needs to be total acceptance of something, whether it's a past situation or current or whatever. Not the pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. 
March Pisces, March Aries energy. Somebody here could be doing spell work. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody could be trying to cause chaos to slow something or somebody down. Somebody could be part of a cult. I ain't gonna page of wands. Yeah, somebody's trying to keep somebody unawakened and stuck somewhere. A lot. Somebody's trying to keep somebody just with, with no type of clear mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Five of wands in reverse. The lovers, Gemini energy. So there could be a choice. There could be options here in regards to work, lovers. Yeah, two of wands. There's definitely a choice. The lovers. Yeah, nine of wands. The four of swords in reverse. Six of cups. Something about somebody's past or somebody from your past. Scorpio sun energy. You could be a Scorpio with Virgo placements or a Virgo with Scorpio placements. We have Gemini here. You could be a Gemini with Virgo in your chart or a Virgo with Gemini somewhere in yours. Leo as well. Flip and switch. I feel like somebody is like not giving up on something. Somebody's remaining resilient in the wrong thing, or somebody's going about something in the wrong way. Like somebody's intentions are good, but Nine of Wands, Moon, and Sag. This could be um, resilience, not giving up. Somebody's very headstrong. Somebody's not recovering or getting better with something. I don't know. This could be addictions. I don't know what it is, to be honest. Somebody here is not growing up or not maturing or it's not good, though. What's wisdom? Queen of Cups in reverse. Yes, this is what I'm saying. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, June Cancer, June Gemini energy, man or woman. Somebody's emotionally manipulative. Instead of learning... Somebody here could have some type of degree or knowledge in something that they abuse. Like say somebody studies psychology or even a, or even spirituality or religion, they they use that to abuse someone or to abuse people. Somebody, I don't like it. What's wisdom? And somebody's in denial. Somebody does, somebody's refusing to to see this about someone or about themselves. What's wisdom? Yeah, Nine of Wands in reverse, November Sag, November Scorpio energy. So you can have, you could be a Sag with a Virgo moon rising or Venus or a Virgo with Sag in your chart. Somebody's hot tempered, somebody's very temperamental. Somebody here could even be feeling really sensitive, emotional at this time. Somebody could be hot tempered, easily irate, a little erratic, especially with their emotions. Somebody's not learning something. Either this is you, someone you're dealing with, or this is somebody else that another person is dealing with. Somebody could be feeling trapped. Somebody's like on somebody's heels. A lot of manipulation here within the energies, emotionally, something. Queen of Cups in reverse. Three of Wands here, Aries energy. The, the Nine of Wands could also be somebody that's afraid to take risks. That's scared to get out their comfort zone. This can also be somebody that takes poor risk. Somebody has not learned from their mistakes. <laughs> somebody has somebody has not learned. Some of you guys, three of wands here. Either you or someone has some type of gift or foresight. Okay, we'll see. What's the three of wands? Okay, two of cups. Venus and Cancer. Somebody could have turned their back on a two of cups. Lovers here, a twin flame connection to be with a queen of cups in reverse. Somebody that's manipulative, abusive. Some of you guys may have trust issues. You have a connection coming in, Virgo. Or you're with some... Yeah, y'all have new love coming in. So y'all gonna have to kind of make peace with the past and let something go or somebody go or this is someone else. But there's new... There's potential for new love. Some of y'all could be in a same-sex connection. For some of you, man or woman... It doesn't really matter. Man and man, woman and woman, it doesn't matter. But some of, you, some of you guys, there could be a lack of trust here. Some, I just feel like somebody's not really elevating consciously, if that makes sense.
What's this two of cups? Yeah, eight of swords. Somebody may feel, okay, and the king of cups. October Scorpio, October Libra. So some of y'all could be October Scorpios, October Libras with Virgo in your chart. Or you could be a Virgo with Libra in yours. Yeah, the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, Chariot in reverse. There's blockages because somebody is lacking awareness. Somebody's also not taking guidance from source or from a professional. I don't know if somebody thinks they know everything or because this person is like somebody trusts somebody because they're they're they may they may feel like this person is more educated than them or has more degrees, more experience. I don't know what it is. But somebody's mental, their crown, their third eye, it's like it's 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 a lot of it's a lot going on up there. Somebody is completely blinded from the truth, completely in denial. Somebody here could be eight of swords here, Jupiter and Gemini. Somebody here could be stuck on a connection. Somebody could be waiting for something or waiting for someone. But with the King of Cups upright, the Queen of Cups in reverse, that tells me somebody's not really doing the inner work because the Kings are all about the external. The Queens are all about the internal. Somebody or two people aren't really a match. Like they think they are. Eight of Swords. Yeah, the world in reverse. There's unfinished business, possibly. Somebody may have to cut their losses. That, and that could be what somebody's having a hard time doing because of their pride, their ego. Somebody here could be overly optimistic about something. Somebody was refusing to let a tower fall. They refuse to let it. Somebody here was like, no, I have to win this. I have to win at all costs. No, no, no. I don't want to. I can't let people think they won or let somebody let this other person think they won. And, and it's really keeping somebody's love life. It's keeping themselves, their their wisdom, their growth, their um, their expansion, their evolution, their ascension. is keeping it delayed. Somebody needs to cut their losses. Uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy. Somebody's not learning a lesson. The world in reverse. This is like a, something not, a goal has not been achieved or accomplished. And that could be what somebody is stuck on or what's the, what's the world in reverse? Somebody may feel like they have unfinished business with you or this could be how you feel. World in reverse. A ton of pentacles in reverse. Mer Mercury in Virgo. So you could be seeing 10, 10. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's birthday could be on the 1st, the 10th, the 2nd, or the 20th. For some of you guys, there could be unhealthy thought patterns um, and ways of being be due to, like, family traumas. Maybe something about your mother, okay? Or a mother figure or your mother's side of the family. Or people that you connect to, really, Something is being just some somebody here could be in um what you call it too. There could be a family business going under or something's being dismantled within. This could be something, some type of generational traditions, or somebody doesn't want to break tradition. Somebody here could be really traditional, like, oh, you know, we have a child, so we must stay together, or we're married, so we must stay together. Something like that. Temperance here, Sagittarius energy, the King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody knows the truth. Somebody here could be pregnant or growing something. It could be a business. What's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, strength here. Somebody's trying to hold on to something for image, really. Leo energy. Somebody could be getting bad at or some type of advice from family or they watch their family do things a certain way or maybe you did or, so, or whoever. Leo here. But somebody feels stuck and trapped. <laughs> somebody is trying to call something in, manifest one thing, but they're holding on to another. It's like some, something has to be given up. Somebody is about loyalty, too. What's the strength here? Le yeah, the, oh my God, the hangman in reverse, Pisces. Somebody is stubborn as shit. Somebody is so stubborn. And the Ten of Pentacles, it's like something ain't what it looks like. It ain't what it appears to be on the outside looking. On the outside looking in, it may seem like somebody has it all, but they, 
they really don't. Somebody is trying to really, somebody is stubborn. Very stubborn. Yeah, this is something about a family dynamic. This person could even be, you know, it's crazy because if four wands here, Venus and Aries, somebody could be living with somebody or married or this could be something with family or home. There's a sense of stability because it's familiar, because it's predictable, but it's it's really not stable though. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's just holding on. Uh, Nine of Wands in reverse. The Devil, oh my God. Capricorn energy. Somebody feels alone, isolated. They're not having fun wherever they're at. They could be, yeah, somebody deceived them. Somebody fell for an illusion. And this could have been their karma. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, this could be somebody's karma. Four of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, justice, Libra energy. You can have Capricorn or Libra in your chart. You could be a Capricorn or Libra with Virgo in yours. But three of cups in reverse, Mercury and Cancer. Um, somebody could also be in jail too. Or facing some type of legalities. But... Seven of Swords here in reverse, Moon in Aquarius, and the Seven of Cups, Venus in Scorpio. Yeah, there could be something being revealed about a third party. Or this person could have had you in a third party. We do have two queens here. Or you put somebody in a third party. I don't know. Flip and switch it. Somebody can overindulge in some type of substance or they like to numb. Somebody's an escapist. In order for somebody to even be in this house, to be with this person, they have to basically numb themselves with something. They could have picked up a bad habit by staying or being with this person. Third, devil here, Capricorn energy, addiction. Somebody can have a sex addiction or somebody just feels really trapped. This could be by way of somebody's own thoughts that's keeping them somewhere that they don't somebody think somebody, somebody needs to hear that they're not a tree they don't have to stay in nothing it's their thoughts it's it's some type of belief system that was either in, that was either um, bestowed upon them as a child through family what they saw with people around them or something that they formed on their own but the devil's addiction somebody could this could be a, a, a bad lifestyle it's the devil here Somebody here could just be toxic. The Ace of Cups. Somebody could be trying to keep somebody trapped through a pregnancy. Yeah, a lot of overindulging. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups, a home or family dynamic. Somebody, there could be a parental figure that's sick. Okay. A, a Queen of Pentacles, December Capricorn, December uh, Sag. This could be someone in your family or your person's family. Somebody's miserable, they're they're just unhappy, man or woman, they're bitter. Somebody overindulges. Somebody who's really mean spirited, superficial. What's this ace of cups? The two of wands. Yeah, five of swords is nasty energy. Two of wands here, Mars and Leo. I mean Mars and Aries. Somebody here is really in their feelings. It's like somebody just won't let something or somebody go. After everything they know about somebody, after everything this, after all the backstabs, the betrayals, the whatever, somebody just, somebody's just, I don't know, it's the, the potential of something, the potential. That's what somebody's just fixated on. Two of wands. Yeah, eight of wands. Mercury and Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's stuck. Some of you guys could be telepathically communicating with somebody. This could be about plans for travel. Some of y'all could, there could be new love that's going to take off. Somebody's going to have to make a decision. Either be stuck in the past or get into this new shit. Because there's something that's a dead end. Something that's keeping somebody stuck and trapped somewhere. Something is a dead end, whether it's a dead end job, career, relationship, marriage, friendship, whatever it is, it's a dead end. Somebody, it's a dead end. Somebody is stuck. They're trapped. They're avoiding change. They're but they're restless. It's what's this eight of wands? You you could be hearing from somebody within two to eight days. Okay, what's the eight of wands? 
Okay, the emperor in reverse. Aries energy. Somebody here could be blocked or you may have your guard up when this person comes to you. Some, for some of you guys. I feel like somebody's deciding to stay in a marriage or a relationship for superficial reasons. There is no love here. Or there's love from one person but not the other. I feel like somebody's used. I feel like somebody's only with somebody because it fits their image. Two people are staying together for for because because it looks good. Maybe because they were together for a long time or they have financial ties, kids, a child, or just for image. The emperor in reverse, somebody's not standing their ground. Or they, there's a lack of structure. It's it's somebody's very controlling. The, the, with somebody's very toxic. Somebody here could be trying to love. Be careful of somebody here could be trying to love bomb someone. Or that's how man or woman. What's the emperor in reverse? I feel like somebody falls for somebody's shit every time. <laughs> emperor in reverse. King of Swords is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The January Capricorn, January Aquarius. This could be a father figure for somebody. I feel like you see the truth about someone. Somebody could be trying to project some type of energy onto you to get you to say something first. Or I don't know what the fuck this is. You, you know, yeah, somebody's not changing. They're, somebody's never going to change. Somebody's never going to grow up. They're bitter. September Virgo, September Libra here with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Scorpio Sun with the Six of Cups, the Death card Scorpio, Two of Swords, Moon and Libra. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, the Fool, Aquarius, Aries. Ten of Swords, Gemini. The King of Cups, October Libra, October Scorpio, the Hermit, Virgo. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces. Somebody needs to say something or speak up. Somebody could be, hold on. Hold on, Virgo. I feel like something's being revealed about a father figure. You may have a child with this person or something's being being revealed about somebody's father or a parental figure, a man or woman, stepfather, a boss, a manager, possibly. Somebody could be getting advice from someone. Somebody could have a military background or have some type of position of authority as a job. What's this? Who's this King of Swords here? Who's this? Yeah, this could be somebody that's in the public eye. Jupiter and Leo. They can have status. They can get a lot of attention in the community or by people they know or online, social media, or this is you. Y'all got new love, but be careful of this person um, wearing a mask. This person could be really controlling. They may love bomb you. Just be careful, Virgo. Okay, be careful. Don't let your desire to have something or be of some type of status get you caught up with maybe the wrong crowd or with the wrong person. Somebody here is also battling addictions, though, heavily. It could be drinking, smoking, sex attention seeking manipulation somebody could be like a scammer somebody could be obsessed with like fame attention even what's release here nine of swords yeah release grudges wounds and pent up feelings through healthy activities somebody may need to journal or or do something physical or channel some type of energy into something else. Nine of Swords is here. Mars in Gemini. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. You could be saying 999. Taurus and Gemini had 999. So you or your person can have Taurus or Gemini, Moon Rising or Venus, or Sun, Moon Rising in Venus. Or you could be a Gemini or Taurus with Virgo, Moon Rising or Venus. But somebody here could be feeling guilty. I feel like somebody's past is haunting them. So a people, a person's actions will tell you everything you need to know. 
Okay, just sit back and let people reveal to you who they are. You don't really have to do too much. What's release? Yes, yeah, Six of Cups. There's something about Scorpio Sun energy here. The past. Aquarius had that. Was it Aquarius? Or Aquarius had that heavy in their reading too. And Libra. So if you have a Aquarius or Libra, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or your person does, you may want to go watch them. Something about somebody's past that they can't let go of that is, is, is causing some type of the end of somebody just can't see prop you know it's like somebody is like a bit upset a bit obsessive even too somebody's not doing the work they're not doing the inner work they're not somebody's not changing nine of swords yeah i'm three of swords is here saturn and libra somebody here could even be becoming bitter this could be a parental figure, your own father or a mother figure. Yeah, somebody needs to do some inner child healing or do some, something needs to be... Somebody may feel like they're not being heard. Three of Swords. thought there was any what's the three of swords here a lot of pain and heartache yeah reject maybe surrounding rejection moon and cancer somebody could have been rejected or felt overlooked or ignored growing up or repressed there could be a lot of, or oppressed i should say somebody's needs were maybe not met Somebody will benefit from meditation. Somebody can have a lot of anxiety. A lot. Like a lot of anxiety here. A lot. You could be seeing 666. Taurus, Aquarius, and Gemini got 666. So if you or your person has that, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You may want to go watch them. And you and Gemini got those numbers in order, too. Gemini had 999, then 666. You got 999, then 666. Taurus had 666, then 999. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Taurus, or somebody that has it in their chart somewhere. What's this? Um, yeah, somebody here also could be ignoring other offers because they're still hung up on something or somebody from the past. That's keep coming back up. Four of Cups. Yeah, oh my God, the judgment in reverse. It's on my Eight of Cups. In reverse, somebody's holding a grudge or just emotionally, mentally stuck. Judgment in reverse, a lack of awareness. A lack of awareness. Something from that somebody needs to accept the fact that something or someone from the past may not be coming back, or something is just not going to be a thing again. For other, and use your discernment. For others of you, this is just somebody that's refusing to undergo some type of awakening or some type of change. Somebody doesn't want to change. Somebody's holding on to the past. Somebody here is holding on to resentment, bitterness. Somebody's unforgiving. Somebody could be holding a grudge and it's, 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 it's stifling. Somebody if you be making somebody here could be even forming unhealthy addictions because of it. Six of Cups or regressing. Six of Cups here. Yeah, Two of Pentacles in reverse. Jupiter and Capricorn. It could be affecting someone's finances. You could be seeing two, two, two. Gemini got that. Aquarius got that. What's the two of pentacles in reverse? Page of wands. Somebody here could be pregnant, but they may not be the father. That could also be it too. Somebody may not. That could be something too. Somebody could be find out, finding out that they're not the father of a child or when somebody did get pregnant at some point in the past, it wasn't theirs or something like that.
What's the page of wands? Somebody here could need to like work at set meet the pick. Somebody here could like to somebody could run track or like to work out with that page of wands. Okay. That can also be optimism, creativity. Yeah, seven of cups, Venus and Scorpio, the justice here, Libra energy. Illusion. Somebody here could be project. Somebody could be masturbating to someone. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody here could be. Somebody here could like be looking at somebody's photos. The seven of cups is like fake pages type energy too. So somebody's not letting go of the past. That's just what it is. Seven of Cups. Mm. Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. There's something being revealed about either someone that you have a family with, somebody that you were living with, or have a child or kids with, or people in your family. Somebody could be confessing something or wanting to turn over a new leaf, but there's a confession that's needed. <laughs> Something could also be, what's the Seven of Cups and the Justice? Something may come as a surprise, temperance, Sagittarius energy. So you may hear from somebody, but it may be a surprise. This person could want to take responsibility or do the right thing with something. They could want to heal something with you. But I still feel like somebody's unawakened. Somebody could be in the process of going through a dark night of the soul, whether this is a new person, old person, or somebody that you're dealing with. So you're going to have to be, there's patience that's needed. Somebody here could also be having legal issues because of some type of addiction that they have, like that they have. The justice and the temperance, it's about balance. Yeah, I just, somebody, mm. What's the why is the judgment in reverse? Somebody is not there. They can't. At the, uh, yeah, okay. The fool in reverse. Somebody could have did something reckless. They could be facing legalities. There could be a legal decision that's up in the air, that's undecided. Uh, the fool here, Aquarius, Aries, energy. The ten of swords here, Gemini. Yeah, I just there could be a timing factor. Healing is needed. Acceptance is needed. Total acceptance of something is really, really needed for someone's sanity, their peace of mind, their health right now. Temperance. You guys are being told to go. Yeah, you guys. Okay. Knight of Cups here. February Pisces, February Aquarius. They don't have to be that sign, but I'm just calling that out. King of Pentacles in reverse. April Taurus, April Aries. Could be a Capricorn or another Virgo. The King of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Either someone's finances are not where they want to be, or and it's, it's due to some type of energetic block, for sure. Or this could be a couple that live together, they're married, but they cheat on each other, they're not happy. You may know this. <laughs> Anyways, Virgo, I feel like, <laughs> five of pentacles, five of pentacles, five of wands. Mm. Nine of cups is about somebody wanting to come in with an offer. Somebody could want to reconcile. May want they may want your forgiveness, or yeah, you may want someone's forgiveness, but the fool here, somebody's not changing. Somebody's afraid of change. Somebody's just completely trapped. No matter what information is coming out, somebody's determined to stay loyal to something. Somebody's is not, they refuse to give up. And this is it's like somebody's steadfastness is not being, is, is not, is, the intention is, you know, but for the person that they're doing it for is not good. Or if the situation. 
I feel like with time, you guys will move on. You could be having a hard time releasing and detaching from something. You could still be holding on to hope being patient. There's some type of fantasy that somebody's holding on to. Be compassionate. Have compassion and patience with yourself, Virgo. Be kind to yourself. I feel like somebody's been ignoring the signs, the just, just ignoring things. Let's get some Island Time Wellness cards. Let's wrap this up. We got how to manifest. Stay thought I am and have. Believe, feeling, having it. Inspired action. Know it's done. Have fun, align, and receive. So for some, somebody here may need to surrender and release how something happens, when something happens, because divine timing is divine timing. Something is meant to happen when you don't... Like on like it's not, it's meant, release it to, oh my god release attachment be free of expectations feel great about letting go longing gives feel longing gives vibe of not having if you're constantly longing for somebody you're delaying the process if, if you're constantly longing for anything or anyone you're delaying it somebody has a hard time with detaching from things from the process of stuff it's like somebody wants to watch a cake bake from the minute they put it in till it's finished. You know how long that's going to feel like it takes? The longer you try to watch something or estimate something or calculate something, it's going to take longer. You're not in control. Or whoever thinks they're in control isn't. Um, loving all of you. Love and accept your inner darkness for greater self-love. Deeply healing word mirrors us yeah and with that lovers and the devil some of you guys need to face the shout and a shadow aspect of yourself there may be something that you may be needing to face about yourself mm -hmm. igniting the exciting finding your soul's purpose talent new chapter and path life change share your unique gifts so I feel like somebody, again, is wasting talent, wasting energy, resources on something or someone that somebody needs to be putting all that energy into themselves, giving and receiving. Everything is energy, reciprocity, give, receive easily to others and yourself, random acts of kindness. So, and then we have nature's timing, nature's timing. Y'all hear that? The temperance. It's about divine timing. Divine timing could be years from now. Months, years, days. It's really, it's definitely not up to us. <laughs> Nature's timing. Things need to occur in proper order. When the time is right, don't try to control the situation. Yeah. So, Virgo, this is your reading. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.